listen here, listen here, you foul-smelling peasants of Nassau. The British crown has captured yet another dangerous pirate. Captain, a dangerous pirate, Captain. Hey, everyone, thanks for coming out to see little old me's face and hey. telling you. Nice show hey. you, Don't humor him, you rapscallion pirate scum. We all end up in jail with him. Hear ye, hear ye. I, Admiral William P. I'm Captain the Notorious Pirate and leader of this atrocious town of Nassau, Edward Pegleg. Captain Edward Pegleg, my friend, call me Eddie. What up, Mr. Pegleg? Captain. It got better. <laughs> Ow! He'll <laughs> spend the rest of his days in <laughs> Take a good look, you peasants. This is what a hardened pirate looks like. A hardened pirate? Captain C-A-B-B-C-E-N, what's that spell? In accordance with King Charles II's royal decree, the pirate town of Nassau has been claimed <sighs> by the British Empire, and all pirates or resistance shall be imprisoned. No! This next warning goes out to anyone who may support the treacherous crime of piracy. Ow! Oh, yeah! Well, the British crown. No, 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 no. It's not the villainous pirates. No matter the cause. No! And to all of you who support the pirates. Yeah! Well, well, you're all going to jail, then all of you. I heard you cheering, and I saw you clapping. You with the green shirt in the back. Definitely, you're gone. And all of you. You, you know what? Whatever. Come on, me. Oh, we're not the Alright! You're like pirate citizens of NASA! If you do not want me to go to prison, let me hear you boo! Oh. If you want me like a dashing and daring to sing, let me hear you cheer! Ah! Oh. Oh. Which one? Oh, oh, oh! Get him! Well, well, 
Well, well, I'm going to tell the king about this, and when he learns of it, we'll demolish this disgusting end of yours and, and put a Motel 5 in his place. Oh, no, he didn't. Did you that you right. just call my inn disgusting? Yeah, yeah, yeah he did a bite in his Mr. Kirk? Yes, Admiral? Tactical retreat! Oh! oh. 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 All right, all right, up and out, up and out. Yeah. What's that? Yeah, I'm coming out!
We need to think of a way to get the pirate captain alone. We're both captain, man! <laughs> captain Nobi runs this town. If we capture him, the others will undoubtedly surrender. We need a distraction. So if we get the pirate captain alone, those will stick you and throw him in prison. What do you have in mind, sir? Something that will make a major impact. A major impact? Like that fiery explosion from earlier, that'll distract them. All right, Mr. Burke, exactly what you must do. Go and recreate the same kind of fiery hot distraction from earlier, and when everyone's attention is on the hot blast, I'll grab Captain Nobian. Yes, sir. You can count me for one. Fiery hot distraction. I hear them over here. Uh, qu quickly, Mr. Burke, I'll attack on your signal. Whenever you're ready for me to attack, make the sound of a gibbering giraffe. Got it. Wait, 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 wait. A what? Ah! Elizabeth, we built the Republic of Pirates up from nothing. A place where everyone is equal, where everyone has rights. It's not just a place where they survive, they thrive. Look, I know it's terrifying to fight against the British Crown, but if we don't, they will rob the citizens of Nassau of everything that the Republic stands for. And some things are worth fighting for, Elizabeth, and freedom. Freedom is one of them. Well, what else is worth fighting for, Charlie? A girl we're fighting for. And Elizabeth. Yes, Charlie! I am to. Now that is a girl worth fighting for! Hello! Why didn't you tell me you hired a hot new strumpet? I didn't! Charlie, I don't think that's one of my girls! How could you hide that booty from me? Take your head out of the cover, Charlie! That actually looks like... Charlie, I think that's that. Look, Elizabeth, I'm sorry. Charlie, that's not what I meant. Oh, it's okay. I think I have Hey! 
say that? Are you okay? I'm fine, Eddie. But they got Charlie. Oh, that's bad. That's really bad. What are they gonna do with him? I don't know. But the Admiral told Mr. Kirk to gather a crowd. Whatever it is, it cannot be good. Hear ye! Hear ye! Smelly peasants of Nassau. That's outside, Mr. Kirk! Hurry! Hi! Got it! Got it! <laughs> Gather round, you scallywags, and come see our pirate captain. I can't even grow a beard. Hey, look, you promised you wouldn't tell anybody. Yeah. Seriously, bro, it's just bad genetics. Not even my fault, I swear. That's what they all say. Come on, man. Uh, excellent job gathering the citizens, Mr. Kirk. Thank you, sir. Turns out they've been sitting here for the past 18 minutes. Dirty people of Nassau, it is I, Admiral William Pete, and I, Admiral William Pete, have captured your leader, the infamous pirate captain Charles Nobier. We will erase the scourge of piracy from the world and wipe your pathetic town off of the map. We're not gonna let that happen. I for the applause, applause, applause. I live for the applause, for the applause, and then she switched. Now, don't talk about it. I knew you'd come back for me at this minute. Oh, I came Kirk. back too. Well, I, I'm Admiral back. William Pete. They know my name. Thank you very much, Mr. Kirk. I have command that we fly our first day. So any resistance is you talk. He's in a big baby. Or he's get a riddle, fiddle, baby. Ooh. Well, well, you know, I mean, the, uh, the, the size of the Navy doesn't matter. It's how you use it. Ah! Oh, that was the Hey. Now, be you, sister. Thank you. 